Welcome to our presentation on a report entitled Multimodal Digital Monographs, Content, Collaboration, and Community. My name is Sarah McKee. I'm with Emory University, where I administer the Digital Publishing in the Humanities program. And my name is Allison Levy. I am Digital Scholarship Editor at Brown University Library. In exploration of the current and future landscape of digital scholarly publishing, this paper reports the findings of a Spring 2021 Summit co-hosted by Brown University and Emory University on multimodal digital monographs. With its focus on scholarly content, the summit convened scholars, academic staff experts, and representatives from university presses. Case studies of eight recently published or in development works provided the basis for in-depth evidence-based discussions about the most pressing concerns and challenges facing stakeholders in digital scholarly publishing today. In particular, participants considered questions of cross-institutional collaboration, community engagement, professional development, open access, peer review, metadata and discoverability, preservation, and sustainability. Although the summit focused on a selection of projects supported by the Mellon Foundation's Digital Monographs Initiative, the presentations and generative discussions that followed raised important concerns and opportunities that extend well beyond the initial aims of the featured projects. A key objective of this report is to promote greater inclusion and equitable access of diverse voices as the development, validation, and dissemination of multimodal digital monographs continues to unfold. Thus, this report serves as a starting point to acknowledge the work that is already underway, to learn what we can from it, and to seek viable, sustainable means of furthering our shared mission to increase the visibility and reach of humanities scholarship to audiences both within and beyond the academy. And to access this report, you can visit the URL multimodal-digital-monographs.pubpub.org. This, the report is structured uh, with three main categories, which you will find on the homepage of the report. Uh, there's a short about section and then three main sections entitled purpose, presentations, which give in-depth summaries of each of the case studies presented during the summit, and then a section entitled expanding pathways about where we go from here. The rapidly evolving landscape of digital scholarly publication challenges efforts to take stock of the wide range of innovative practices and system changing interventions that characterize a growing body of publications that offer unique capabilities beyond conventional formats, from multimedia enhancements and interactive navigation to community engagement and global reach. This paper, which reports the findings of a spring 2021 summit co-hosted by Brown University and Emory University, features eight case studies that offer promising ways forward as the process of establishing best practices for the development, validation, and dissemination of multimodal digital monographs continues to unfold. Even at this early and experimental stage, we find among the myriad approaches that collaboration grounded within a community of scholars, publishers, and technology experts committed to expanding humanity scholarship in meaningful and innovative ways undergirds all these successful efforts. Efforts to reimagine the monograph for the 21st century started in 2014 with the launch of the Mellon Foundation's Digital Monograph Initiative. Inclusive of a small handful of planning grants that led up to the official 2014 launch, the foundation awarded $32.78 million in grants to 44 organizations, some receiving multiple grants, between 2011 and 2020. While a large part of Mellon's investment went to building out the digital infrastructure available to university presses, the foundation also sought to support the community of scholars seeking to legitimate the expanded possibilities that digital publication offered for developing and presenting their research. To this end, a smaller number of grants was awarded to institutions experimenting with university-based models of support for faculty, ranging from developmental editing and design support to assistance in placing the work with suitable publishers. In February 2018, the Mellon Foundation hosted an all-projects meeting for many of the institutional support grantees. 
representatives of these projects gathered in New York to share progress and challenges with one another during what were still germinal days. During this period, the foundation also convened project teams from the university press cohort to promote collaboration between platform and tool developers. Three years later, with the encouragement of Mellon's public knowledge program, two of the grantees, Brown and Emory, sought to foster a more comprehensive conversation, including, for the first time, the scholar's perspective. The intention from the start was to call attention to the faculty-led experimentation that was taking place across a number of libraries and humanities centers, some of which already involved university presses. Shifting the focus away from tools and technology, as important as those, as those discussions remain to the larger scholarly communications ecosystem, the summit emphasized author and audience needs and opportunities. The summit itself was organized by the very familiar publishing workflow, um, beginning with the author, as all book publications do. Uh, the two projects featured in this category were Islamic Pasts and Futures, Horizons of Time by Shahzad Bashir, um, which is now forthcoming as a new vision for Islamic Pasts and Futures from MIT Press in August 2022. And the second, Jim Crow in the Asylum, Psychiatry and Civil Rights in the American South, which is forthcoming from the University of North Carolina Press in 2023. The second category focused on uh, the perspectives of acquisitions editors. The first project showcased Feral Atlas, The More Than Human Anthropocene, was published by Stanford University Press in 2020. And the second in this category, Soul Liberty, The Evolution of Black Religious Politics in Post-Emancipation Virginia, published in 2020 by the University of North Carolina Press. The third category moved on to the production phase of publication with two publications, Sounding Spirit, Scholarly Editions from the Southern Sacred Music Diaspora, which is forthcoming from the University of North Carolina Press in 2023 as a co-publication with the Emory Center for Digital Scholarship, and The Lab Book, Situated Practices in Media Studies, a work in progress by the University of Minnesota Press. And then finally, looking at what happens after the book has been published, we moved on to post-production considerations with Furnace and Fugue, a digital edition of Michael Myers' Atalanta Fugians with scholarly commentary, published by the University of Virginia Press in 2020, and As I Remember It, Teachings from the Life of a Slyam and Elder, published in 2019 by the University of British Columbia Press on the Raven Space platform. These eight multimodal digital projects that were showcased during the summit provide a lens through which to consider some of the most pressing questions around reimagined forms of humanity scholarship. What models for publishing enhanced and interactive scholarly projects might be emerging? What is working well? What are the common challenges that remain and how do we address them? How can we encourage a shared vocabulary for these digital publications among the wider scholarly communications community? While each of the projects, representing a broad disciplinary range and span of subject matter, offers a different perspective and often vocabulary, when taken together, they reveal lessons learned and clarify key priorities. From a new vision for Islamic pasts and futures and Furo Atlas, for example, we understand that interactivity and a thoughtful interplay among text and multimedia offers authors new and powerful ways to articulate complex arguments. As I Remember It and Jim Crow in the Asylum provide distinct opportunities to examine the ethical impl implications of humanities research and to consider the new ways in which digital publication engages with audiences beyond the academy. Sounding Spirit and Furnace and Fugue foreground the powerful outcomes of collaborations between university presses and universities, modeling how such partnerships leverage resources and expertise to strengthen the humanities infrastructure and allow for innovation within it. Soul Liberty and the Lab Book overtly connect digital publishing with digital humanities methodologies 
and offer insight into the workings of iterative and or collaborative publishing workflows, emphasizing the need for strong communication and collegiality among project partners. While significant work remains in the effort to develop multimodal digital scholarship in thoughtful, generous, inclusive, and equitable ways, we are heartened to see and to share the ways in which it has already begun. The project showcased here on this slide offer a plethora of examples working in multiple registers and across different communities. But in addition to encouraging conversations about the development of individual multimodal digital projects, we also want to acknowledge other ways in which the humanities infrastructure is growing to support the expansion of opportunities for authors and for readers beyond the academy. We invite you all to explore the report in full, again available on PubPub at multimodal-digital-monographs.pubpub.org. And we welcome your feedback. Thank you very much. Thank you.